You guys like McDonald's or Burger King? <gasps> or Wendy's? We can get Wendy's on the way home if you guys are good. How's it going, everyone? Welcome back to Flames Place. And today we are checking out Cold Shot, an indie horror game available over Nishio. And I have a link in the description box down below, as well as links to my Patreon, Discord, and Twitter if you'd like to check any of those out. And this is a game about being a hitman. You know, being hired to kill someone, much like the well known game that everyone enjoys, 13. Hey, okay, bullet. A very cold night. I would like to be at home, watching TV and relaxing. But, uh, but I have a job. Spencer York. He lives in 12 Saratoga Street. Everything is ready. I cannot fail. Okay, interesting. I'm guessing that our name is not <clears throat> Spencer York, it is... Uh, Hitman, probably. Uh, ooh, whoa, that's weird. Shift actually makes you stop walking, or stop running. Interesting. Oh, there's a bag here. I should probably check that out. What do we got in here? What, what's in our bag of tricks? Ooh, I got a bullet. I have collected a single bullet. Is that just a common occurrence in parks? They just leave bullets all around and... And they leave sniper rifles just chilling on an overlook. What, what, is, what is this? A Dallas Book Depository? It's a sweet reference to the JFK assassin. Is it a sweet? Does it count as sweet? I'm guessing this is the guy I take out. I think this is a pretty good shot. I don't know if there's bullet drop or anything, but we're gonna we're gonna take it. Did I hit him? You know, if only we had. I'm gonna make sure. If only we had some kind of scope that would allow us to look into it. Also, right now, you're probably wondering what's up with the the, the sound in the game. Uh, I'm lowering it quite a bit because the developer did leave a note saying, "Hey." There is uh, copyrighted music in this, and you might get flagged, and I don't feel like doing that. Hey, it's uh, the thing I saw from the beginning of the game. Wow, we got some real good gun waggle right there. That's that's top-notch gun waggling, if you ask me. What is this glowing light for? I have nine bullets. Okay, I thought there was something around me. Oh, crowbar. You got the crowbar. Da -da -da -da. <laughs> Just envisioning the... Uh, Hitman pulling a link. Ah, freaking! What are you? What are you? Why are you? God, freaking big the cat over here, just chilling. Nice. He's annoyed because I stole his crowbar. That actually startled the hell out of me. Holy crap! Okay, the music stopped, so that's good. It picks up again. Well, I gotta mute it. But for right now. Let's go ahead and break on in, you know, because very assassinated guy, and I'm pretty sure I shot Big the Cat. Oh, this is a great start. I left the witness because he's, you know, impervious to bullets, evidently. I mean, I can just, I can just like jump a little bit and see if he's still by the computer. No, I can't do that. Why would I? Why would I be able to do that? Something like that? Is he still there? Yep, there he is, just chilling. Okay. Oh, is this a manhole cover? Uh, that's going to come in handy later on when I try to escape, I think. This has the same PS2-1 style-ish uh, graphics I've seen in so many games recently. Okay, just want to make sure there's nothing that's going to startle me if I go inside. I'm sure there will be, but, you know, always helps to look. Alright. Big the cat. Nope, he's not there. Ooh, what's this say? It's October. It's the end of October. It's Halloween. My favorite time of year. Let's open up all of the doors just for easy escapes. It's locked. Okay, let's open up all the doors I can and I don't have a reflection. <gasps> I am a vampire hitman. I, I mean, I'm a, I'm a hitman who is a vampire, not a, a, va a hitman who specializes in vampires. Because uh, that would be Blade. And some motherfuckers always trying to like, skip, skate uphill. Or that that would have been a lot cooler if I had not stumbled over the word. What is with the corpse of a deer? Something is under the flesh. Okay, so just like take it, whatever. I need a sharp object. What is this? Oh, it's like a train map with the smiley face button. It sounds like there's something. I'm like walking. All right, we got some goose. We got some gooey looking food. I can't open up the drawers. Always a shame. Just want to check my corners quickly. 
We'll go upstairs in a moment. There's a cabinet. Again, cannot interact with the cabinet. Oh, something I can interact with stuff here. That 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 book is not on any, on top of anything. That is just a unless it's like a really clear class in which case I want to know what brand of Windex he uses. Even though Windex is the brand, the brand of glass cleaner. <clears throat> 25th of March 2014. Feels a bit weird writing this. I've never written a diary until today. I guess the more I do, the more I'll be used to. Marvin, the therapist, told me that this can help with the process. I try to keep my mind focused on anything, or stupid it is. But at the end of the day, I can't stop thinking on Mina. I feel so miserable. 26th of March 2014. Second day in a row. Tonight I didn't sleep. The pills are useless. I stayed watching these weird early morning TV programs. I couldn't stop thinking about Mina. I spent the morning shopping in the town. For a moment, I thought Mina was on the other sidewalk. Probably I'm starting to lose my mind. This afternoon's been pretty normal. I decided to go for a walk. Third day, and guess what? Another night without sleeping. I'm beginning to worry. Maybe I should call Marvin. Okay, I have an appointment with Marvin for tomorrow. It must be serious that they schedule me so soon. The rest of the day's been pretty normal. I can't stop thinking about Mina. But I'm almost used to it. I don't know if it's because I'm mentally devastated or because I'm beginning to overcome it. Fourth day. Marvin is a fucking asshole. I didn't like how it went through the whole thing. What kind of fucking therapy is this? I'm not going back. Fuck you, Marvin. Fuck you and your fucking diary. Well, you're the one still writing in it. That's 5th of April. A week without touching this goddamn diary. Marvin keeps calling me. I don't give a fuck. His pills are definitely bullshit. The alcohol does a better job. Can't stop thinking about Mina. I'm so miserable. <sighs> 12th of April. I don't know why I keep writing this. Maybe it's now my personal ritual when I'm unable to sleep. Today, I decided to join a support group at the church. It's full of parents in the same situation as me. I'm feeling much better now. I think I didn't feel that good in weeks. No, oh, that's good. Tonight, I went hiking with some of the support group. We went to an abandoned shrine. For some reason, I can't remember what we did there. They seemed very interested in me. I think I will invite them at home to my fancy invisible table. Uh, 21st of April. Today, Jan uh, Janessa told us that soon we'll be, we will bring them back. I'm so happy. 25th of April. The deformed pig just appeared in my yard. I can't believe it worked. This means everything is ready and more important, they were right. I'm going to call them. I think I can hear Mina playing with the other kids. 26th of April. Today is the big day. Everything is ready. Soon the group will come home. Janasa has to tell me something very important. Okay. So, a little ritual to... I don't know what I just... Oh, I, they just have bullets laying around. Okay. Cool. Good, good to know. Uh, yeah, so there's a little... Little spooky kids coming back from the dead. Little pet cemetery going on, it seems. I keep finding bullets just chilling in this house. At random. Okay. Let's go check out the second floor. Uh, I don't know which room he was sitting in. But it probably wasn't this room. Just want to check behind everything. See if I'm missing any notes. Diaries. Or that door's open already. So we'll check that out in a moment or two. Oh, that is very dark. Uh, more bullets. Good. Good to know. Oh, it's locked. Okay. Uh, I think this was the... Uh, yeah, he's dead. I don't have to go in there. The hell? Oh. Like bugs or something. Oh, even more bullets. Oh, there you go. No. Whoa, what is... Oh, it's the, the shadow of the gun. <laughs> My character doesn't have a shadow, but the gun sure does. Dr. Marvin Lewis, patient Spencer York, age 46, height, whatever, who cares, diagnose, the patient suffers a major depressive disorder induced by schizophrenia, constantly recalls the loss of a child that never existed. Oh, interesting little, little twist I wasn't expecting. Again, not, not particularly fond of using mental illnesses as reasons for people to be bad in a game, but a little better than just saying that he killed because he was hold up there's a lot of blood and everything but there's no body oh, this sucks so I'm gonna look at this computer and something's gonna happen uh, Mina if you're reading this it means everything went right I'm scared a few hours ago I didn't know I would die so soon however thinking about the reason makes my last moments happier than ever I'm very nervous but my life without you means nothing doing this is the best decision I will ever make don't be sad daddy loves you I will be with you forever I see him pointing at me. He woo. I don't like this. I'm getting out of here. Yeah, that's probably for the best. 
Is there... It sounds like as I get closer, there's more and more tapping. Okay, I don't know where that tapping's coming from. I don't like that. I heard... crying, or something. Uh... Oh. Great. Uh... You know what, we're just gonna do that. Better keep moving. Yep, okay. Handle that problem. Did he... He poured up everything. I think the sound came from the bathroom. That's upstairs. God, the doors creaking is what's making, putting me on edge. Oh, he got, he got back up. That's weird. And also annoying. Okay. I'm, I'm in the bathroom. I don't think that I'm supposed to actually be in this bathroom. Was there another bathroom? That I'm not aware of? Nope, that's locked. Yeah, he just keeps getting back up. Can't keep a good man down, apparently. Oh god, he can actually hit me pretty damn hard. Ow, oh crap, gotta reload, gotta reload. One second, sir, one second, please. Oh, everything's red. Uh, something is inside that, yep, we know. That's locked. Uh, okay. Questions and concerns, I don't know where the bathroom is. Does my health come back? I don't... My health doesn't seem to be coming back. Well, that's not good. And I hear walking. Yep, there he is. The funny thing is, the bad guy kind of looks like Hitman. So if I just trap him in there, is that fine? Is this good? Very hard to see anything. Can he open doors is actually what my question is. If he can't, I just did a good. Okay, I have a crowbar. Why, why can't I just pop them all? Let's pop them all. off. Okay. Yeah, he can open doors. Is basically what I learned. Oh, this is the bathroom. You got the knife. Okay. Got the knife. I got the library key. Cool. Uh, I'm stuck. Oh, God. The hell was that? Okay. Super, super duper glad I shot that. Yep. Oh, here he comes. Oh, God. He's freaking haymakering. Oh, nope. That's not good. Library key. Library key. Why can't I use... Oh, God. I'm out of bullets. I still have one in the chamber, it says. But okay. I guess, guess we're just gonna go. I unlocked it. Okay. Cool. Yep. There you go. Take a hammer to the face, I guess. Uh, we are going to retry. Thank you for keeping the mouse away for a moment or two. It, wait, hold up. So, where am I retrying from? So, okay. So, oh, so I retry from the start of the house. I'll be back in a moment, everyone. Alright, so this time, I alt- no, nope, shoot, didn't mean to fire that. Uh, this time I alt-tabbed out and hit resume recording. So I'm kind of wondering, what if I just... Shift walk. And don't bother him at all. This seems to be kind of work- never mind. Not working. Go for some more shots. Better keep moving, it's locked. Oh, right, there's this, okay. Oh, that's right. I gotta go here. Everything's all boarded up. That's the sound of... I, th I think that sound came from the bathroom. Okay, wanted to make sure that he wasn't getting back up quite yet. Okay, cool. Now he's back up. Is he a robot? Hold up. What's up with that sound? Oh, no. That's not good. So what if I, like, take out his legs? Oh, well, I guess... I guess we'll never find out. I do wonder, because I, I know I can shoot his arm off. Oh crap, I gotta get the key from the, the carcass first. Like right now, if I just shot off his legs, would I would it be okay? Okay, got got that, got the library key. I don't like where that's, that blood's all gushing from. Yep, there's the monster thing. 
turns into a gooey mess. All right. Oh, jeez. Hi. Hello. How do you do, good sir? <clears throat> oh, got to reload. Ow! Stop that. I mean, I know I'm shooting you and all, but seriously, rude. All right, library key. I unlocked it. Let's get inside quickly. Oh my god, what is going on with all these? Oh, okay, I did a thing. I got the basement key. Uh, I found some pages that don't belong to this book. It's barely readable. Local folklore. Rag Rajmont symbolizes flesh. His appearance resembles a pig. Rajmont can provide any earthly desire if the steps are followed accordingly. The initial phase involves performing the valley rituals. Once the rituals are done, Rajmont will choose his host. If a host is chosen, Rajmont will materialize itself in the host home. In the second phase, the host must sacrifice the material form and share its flesh among the participants. Only the host can cut the body. Oh, that's me. That's not good. The last phase involves a redemption of the host for killing Rajmont. A being of a lower plane must kill the host. After the host sacrifice, the desire of all the participants will be provided. Uh, so questions. Was he moving as I was reading that? Because I'm boned if you if if I wasn't paying attention. Alright, well I got the basement key. I don't know if he is going to be right around the corner here. He was there before. Also, is all this blood new or was that from him chasing me? That might have been from him chasing me. I gotta go to the basement. Just wanna make sure. Everything's okay. I'm not going to get murderized quickly. I assume I'm going to get murderized, but... Okay, let's go into the basement. I unlocked it. Oh, God! Okay. <laughs> Just fired by, you know, sheer shock. Oh, and he ragdolled a little bit there. Oh, there he goes. Can I take this hammer? Nope. Okay. Yes, we're going to go downstairs into... I'm just going to close that door and pretend that never happened. Okay. They're busting out. Oh, they're everywhere. Oh, there are multiples. Okay. I gotta reload. It's gonna have to loop the loop around them. Oh my god, there's so many of them. Why? Why are there so many? Ha! Ah, I'm, I'm almost. I, I gotta reload. I gotta reload. I'm stuck in a corner. I'm stuck on a bouncing ball. Oh, wait. <gasps> Thank you, bouncy ball. You saved my life. Okay, so we're gonna let them all kind of go off, do their thing. And I don't know if my health is going to return, but for now, into the basement I go. Is there anything actually in this basement or am I just doomed to die? Oh, no, I am. <gasps> the manhole cover from earlier. I'm not gonna die in this shithole. No way. Not with my few bullets. Just kind of scoot around them. Thank you. Oh, jeez. The car is nearby, but I can't leave my stuff. Of course I can. Why would I be able to... Why would I risk doing that and leaving evidence around? I gotta remember I can't run. Like, I'm so tempted to hit sprint to shift, but I can't. That just makes me walk... Ah, okay, I'm stuck on something. Uh, do I need to take the gun? Nope, gun's already gone. Okay, great. Let's grab my bag. Got it. You got the backpack. Where would the car be? Okay. This is not great. I need to I need to lure them closer and then I can scoot around them. I'm gonna use the tables as like a barrier, I think. Okay. And go! You could you can move a little quicker, buddy. Oh, okay. Yep. That's... Oh, there's so many. Oh, no. There's a lot of them. Oh, I may have just boned myself hard. Ow. Ow. Nope. 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 Oh, crap. Nope. Nope. Ah, no. Oh, retry or give up. I mean, we're going to retry. So I am supposed to survive this. I'm not gonna die in- th yeah, we know that already. He, he said that. Okay. So let's try doing it this way. And not get hit. If I could close this fence, that'd be awesome. I can't, though. The car's nearby. Where is the car? We can't just say the car's nearby and then not have- Oh, that's my car. Great. Okay. 
I have very few bullets. I don't think there's a way I can pull the knife up. No, doesn't seem to be. Alright, so yeah, I have to I have to just skirt I have to just skirt them around. I, th I think is my only real option. So I mean I'm gonna take a few shots. Try to thin the numbers out a little bit if I can. Also miss a lot, evidently. Two bullets left. Make them count. Okay, great. Yep, that definitely. When I said make them count, that is exactly what I implied. All right. So, we need to. Whoa. Oh, oh, even more bullets. Oh, awesome. Okay. Now I don't have to make them count as much. Okay, I should probably actually still hit them though. Rather than just miss horribly like I was. All right, we're going to go through between. All right. Is that all of them? I think that's all of them. Just gonna keep firing to the masses. Yeah, that, I think that's all of them. So, let's make a dash for it. There seems to be one just chilling at the top here. Nope. Take you out. Get to the car. Let's do this. Do do do. Again, probably not sure exactly which music's copyrighted, but I'm not dealing with it. So we're going to just mute all the audio from the game. I can't leave the sniper in the backpack. Oh my god, damn it. I freaking, I knew that sniper rifle was going to be the death of me. And I'm out of bullets. Okay, there's still a lot up there, but I think I can skirt, I can do this. Aha! Aha! Take this, creepy baby crawling thingies out. Nope, don't, don't take me, don't, I said take this, I did not say take me. Okay, I do have to get the sniper rifle. I freaking, I missed it the first time. You got the sniper. Yay, thank you. Great. <sighs> Come on, creepy crawling baby demons, I guess. I'm your new papa. You guys like McDonald's or Burger King? <gasps> or Wendy's? <gasps> we can get Wendy's on the way home if you guys are good. Chasing me around in circles is not really being good, to be completely honest, but, you know. Maybe it's a little better than what I could expect from creepy crawling baby demons. Let's just go. Between the three, I do actually prefer Wendy's. Just because I like their burgers better. Although I will, I won't, I won't turn down any of them. They're all good. Yeah, all right. We got this now. Let's go, hop in the car. Oh, I need to actually go to the door. I'll, I guess hopping into the trunk wouldn't do much. Am I driving? Oh my God, I am driving. Okay, I just ran over one of the demons. I'm so tired. I don't even know where I'm headed to. This job has been a complete mess. It's a miracle that I'm alive. Still, the question burns my mind. Did they deserve it? It didn't matter before. Why should it matter now? I just want to start from scratch. You know, with my lot of money I made from killing people to begin a new life, but I don't deserve it. Are we going to look in the pet seat and then the baby's going to get me? Baby demon? Or then like the back seat or something? I'm just waiting for it. Kind of startling jump scare to, to end the game off. Oh, never mind. Oh, I'm actually impressed they didn't go for that. Okay. Yeah, so PSX pipeline. It really feels like a lot of games just kind of throw it on. It, it didn't really need that, I felt. It was pretty good though. I did actually like this game a lot. Uh, so yeah, these are all the the noises in the game and uh, models, I guess. But yeah, this was a pretty neat idea. Like I said before, I actually didn't mind the mental illness kind of thing in this game because it wasn't a pressing part of it. It was more, hey, just the demonic part of it that's important. And having the back lore and stuff was pretty cool. The dude who kept chasing me was actually pretty... Pretty terrifying when he first got up again, and I was a little shocked. Still, still very confused about the whole Big the Cat dude. I don't, he's, he wasn't Big the Cat, but I don't really know what that was about. Maybe it was an Easter egg from the developer, but I like this a lot. Let me know what you thought about this game in the comments down below. Give me a thumbs up. I really do appreciate that. And also make sure to subscribe so you get updates for release new content or go live while live streaming. And as always, 
Have a great day. Remember to burn bright. I'll talk to you later. Bye.